Quality aluminum products, we manufacture aluminum building products, siding, soffit, fascia, gutters, anything for the exterior of the house. It was founded by my dad and my uncle in 1990. I joined the company in 2000 after 13 years with Ford Motor Company. My dad and my uncle backed out of the business really on a day-to-day -day basis, like in around 2010 or so, and myself and my cousin managed the business. We ship primarily throughout the Midwest, you know, from, from Minnesota, around through Ohio and over to Pennsylvania. But I took a, a cold call February of 13, 2013. The guy calling because he wanted to buy the company. Nothing happened with that phone call, but it sparked the interest to say, maybe it's time for us to exit. So then we, we did that in earnest, you know, and, and put together a, a package and took it to market. Looked at Blackford, they have a history with family owned manufacturing businesses. They're local and they were willing to allow the family members to stay running the business. And finally, we made it happen in January of 2016. Blackford Capital, we, we focus on family-owned businesses. So Bob and his family, you know, hit criteria number one for us. And then to Bob's point, you know, they were local. Bob and his family had really created an unbelievable franchise and and they they were doing so many things really, really well. You know, customer service was, was number one for them. And we felt like we could bring a lot of the skill sets and, you know, kind of items out of our regular playbook, professionalize some of the operations, help out on, on the sourcing, the production, and really use a lot of the, the excess capital that the business was, was generating to invest back in the business, improve the machinery, improve our throughput, and expand the business. They put in place a chief financial officer, which we didn't have prior to Blackford. But with the CFO, we're, we got to the point where we could tell whether we won or lost last week we won or lost yesterday. In addition to that, the board of directors that they compiled were outstanding. Very talented in their respective areas and really concerned about how do we make QAP better? How do we polish them to, to be that diamond? Those key items were very beneficial to the growth and the trajectory and the profitability of QAP. And we tried to put together a diverse group of, of individuals that, you know, some folks came from the building products industry and were, were senior executives within it, so they knew the customers well. We had other individuals that were familiar with family office dynamics. I remember we spent a lot of time talking about pricing, price our product into different channels, and Quality Aluminum really created a unique value proposition around customer service. And we went to the nth degree to make sure that the customer was satisfied with delivery on time, quality. You know, you're at the very top of your game in terms of customer service, and, and ultimately, those customers yeah. will, will reward you for that yeah. because you make their lives easier. Yeah. We entered a number of new markets regionally during our ownership period, and so we had to have various sales reps and marketing professionals and individuals who could really get the quality aluminum story out into the marketplace and, and secure these new customers, and, and they were very successful in doing so. And then there was also a concerted in investment in terms of just the, the manufacturing uh, capability yeah. in terms of equipment, uh, a better process flow and design. We rather significantly increased the number of sources for our primary raw material, which is aluminum. And so, you know, being able to have access to aluminum in an unfettered way, you know, really helped our ability to, to grow and at the same time be able to consistently deliver to our customers, you know, to the extent that they placed in order. Yeah. And really all these guys needed was just a little bit of kind of additional ammunition. And then they were able to, to take off. I think tripled, you know, revenue during that period of time. We grew our cash flow fourfold, you know, ultimately really positioned the business to be a much more formidable player within the industry. And, uh, you know, Quality Aluminum was a, was a wonderful story and, and we had the growth and the increase in profitability. And we felt like we had professionalized the business in a way that would attract the interest of much larger institutions that were interested, quite frankly, in our Midwestern footprint. And that's exactly what happened, and that's how we ended up eventually selling the business to a, a publicly held building products company in, in Gibraltar. You know, QAP has a really distinct and special culture. And so for us, you know, being able to find a company in which that culture would be appreciated 
and recognized and, and allow the business to, to grow even further was really, really important to us. And so we felt like there was a cultural alignment amongst the management teams. And so we were, we were thrilled with that result. But in many ways, we just really helped the Clark family recapitalize the business and, and allow Bob and the younger generation of Clark family members the ability to buy out mm -hmm. their their parents and elders. And you know, we obviously saw what we thought was, you know, the promise of of Bob and his team and and the, the bandwidth that they had to really take this business to the next level. From Blackford, from the board, from my executive management team, everything I was able to learn over these six and a half years is outstanding. Whenever you have an executive and executive team that are very open to new ideas, it makes working with companies just all the much easier and, and really a pleasure from my perspective. I'm extremely happy with being able to partner with Jeff and with Blackford and Martin.